Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about the value in bonds. So we will go over different type of bonds and features, understand the bond pricing and the YTM yield. We will also go over bond rating, bond quotes, the inflation effect, and term structure of interest rates. So let's take a look at cash flow associated with the bond financing. From corporation point of view, firms issue bond and raise money. They have to pay coupon payment and principal repayment to investors. Investors will invest, purchase bond, and then receive coupon payment and principal repayment in the end. First, let's understand the basic terms associated with bond. First one is coupon payment or coupon rate. Coupon payment is interest payment on the bond. For semi-annual bond, for example, a 6% coupon rate bond, the coupon payment are made twice a year, which is six months every time. So 6% implies a 60 annual payment and spread into two payment which is $30 every six months. Coupon rate is annual coupon payment over bond face value. Please note coupon rate does not change over time and uh, for the same corporations firms could issue multiple bonds with multiple coupon rates. So the coupon rate has nothing to do with the underlying default risk. Typical corporate bond has par value or face value of a thousand. Maturity is the how many years left till the bond paid in full. With time goes by, maturity could change. A uh, 30-year bond issued five years ago the maturity is now 25 years left. Let's talk about the year to maturity. Year to maturity is also called yield. From corporation's point of view, that is the cost of capital of selling bond. From investor point of view, that's a rate of return. Notice YTM is risk-based. If there's a high risk, High chance the, the company may default on this bond payment, the YTM will be very high. So the YTM could change over time, um, depend on the underlying risk of the company, while coupon rate does not change. I want to take a look at the semi-annual, how the, the cash flow and the rates differ from annual bond. For the same 8% coupon rate, YTM 10% and 5-year maturity. For annual bond, the annual coupon rate 8% and the annual coupon payment $80. YTM yield 10% 5-year 5 coupon payments. For semi-annual bond, Everything is now six months term, so the coupon rate for six months is four percent. Implies <coughs> coupon payment is forty dollars every six months. Six months rate is five percent. The total number of coupon payment will be doubled to ten payments. So this give you an illustration, the cash flows, coupon payment, and the principal repayment associated with the bond investment. So how do we figure out the bond price? Bond value is a present value of two things. One is annuity of the coupon payment. Second is present value a, a final principal repayment. So we can discount each cash flow and add the present value together, or we can put um, a new formula. We can also use a new factor for the annuity present value and um, 
a discount factor for principal repayment. Let's take a look at the bond pricing example. So this is the annual bond. The coupon rate is 10%. The par value ascendant bond is five year left to maturity. The white team is 11. Okay. So as you see, 10% coupon rate implies 100 coupon payment. And uh, in the end, we have a principal 1,000. So these are the interest factors. This annuity factor based on the 11% five-year term. So this is a single discount factor of 11% five years later. Use calculator, we have to figure out the inputs. So remember this annual bond, five year means five payments. The uh, IY, Y team is 11. The coupon payment is $100. The future value is a thousand. Then we can compute PV. Let's try that. Five into N. 11 IY, payment 100, par value a thousand, then compute PV. So it's 963 and 4 cents. Uh, the negative is just sign convention. Okay. So in this example, the bond price is below a thousand, so we call this type of bond is a discount bond. Then we also take a look, we notice the coupon rate offered by this company, 10%, is below the marked expectation, which is 11%. That explains the reason why the bond price is below the face value. Let's look another example. This is a semi-annual bond, 10% coupon rate, face value a thousand, 20 year left maturity, YTM to 8%. So let's first work out the terms. We know the N number coupon payment is going to be doubled from 20 to 40. The six months rate yield, 8% is 4%. The coupon payment, 100 divided by 2 is 50. Future value, 1,000. Then compute the PV. You can also use the annuity factor, print value discount factor, or formula to solve the bond price. So let's try again for the calculated approach. N equal to 40. I is 4%, payment is 50, future value a thousand, then compute PV. So we got the bond price for such bond is 11.97.93 cents, which is above the par value a thousand. We call this type of bond as a premium bond. As you notice, in this case, the offered coupon rate 10% is higher than market expectation on the yield, which is at 8%. We can put them all together into this one on one relationship. Uh, premium bond will imply coupon rate is higher than yield, while the discount bond means coupon rate is below yield maturity. If they are the same, then the bond is going to be traded at the face value. I want you to take a, a moment, pause, and uh, practice on this bond pricing examples. Notice in this case, the bond maturity, it is a 15-year bond, but issued two years ago. So the Valid maturity is now 13 years. We talk about the YTM is the depend is related to the default risk. When the default risk increases or changes, YTM also change. 
How does this affect the bond price? So generally speaking, the higher the yield, the higher the risk, the lower the, the bond price. So intuitively, if you want the investors to hold the risky bond, there's more chance the bond may be defaulted. Of course, they are not willing to pay as much. Interest rate risk check a sensitivity on the bond price to a change in interest rates. For example, for the underlying risk or interest rate go up 1%. How much is this impact on the bond price? So certain, certain bond, you will see they are very sensitive as displayed by a steeper slope, while other type of bond is much, much flatter, which means they are not as sensitive to the change in interest rate. There are two major factors will, will affect interest rate risk. The time to maturity and the coupon rate. Generally speaking, the longer the maturity, the greater the interest rate risk. So a 30-year bond is riskier than one-year bond. Second factor is coupon rate. The lower the coupon rate, the greater the risk. So a five-year coupon, zero coupon bond is riskier than a five-year 10% coupon bond. I want to take a look at the five different bonds and could you find out which one has the highest interest rate risk? So the car we have two factors, the longer the majority, maturity, the lower the coupon rate, the higher the interest rate risk. So for the highest interest rate risk, we are looking for the longer maturity 10 year, look for the lower coupon rate, zero coupon rate. So number five is the one with the highest interest rate risk. For the least interest rate risk, we do the opposite. We look at the shortest maturity and the highest coupon rate. So five year, 8% coupon rate bound. The number two is the one with the least, least interest rate risk. Now let's take a look. How do we understand find out the yield? It is important for investors. Yield means their rate of investment. For corporations, yield means their cost of financing. So this bond is, has 10% annual coupon rate. 15 year to maturity, a par value of a thousand. The current price is 9.28 and 9 cents. So as you see, this is a bond a discount bond, trade below a thousand. So is the yield higher or lower than 10%? Recall for discount bond, mean the coup offered coupon rate is lower than YTN. Right, so the white team must be greater than 10%. Let's find out the YTM. So we enter 15 year into N. Uh, we put 928.09 into PV. We, due to sign conventions, not all cash flow is positive. We put a negative in from PV. And we put a thousand and a hundred into payment and into future value and payment. So these two are always same direction. For from investors point of view, they receive coupon payment, they receive principal repayment. So they always are same same sign. Compute we got IY eleven percent. In the case of any bound, so this is our YTM. Now let's take a look and look at this um, bond yield calculation with semi-annual bond. Again, 10%, face value 1000, 20 year maturity, the bond price 1197.93. As you see, this a premium bond means that the offered coupon rate is higher than YTM. This implies YTM is less than 10%. Let's work on the term for the semi-annual bond structure. The 20 years means we are left with 40 coupon payments. 
the print value of negative 1197.93 the coupon payment 10 percent 100 it is 50 dollars future value a sudden then compute for IY because so this IY is only for six months term so we normally want to quote state the interest rate as annual rate APR to do this we have to multiply the semi-annual twice frequency to convert to APR 8% notice for the yield calculation we have to rely on financial calculator we cannot do this use formula I want you to try find out this yield for this example on your own Sometimes you are asked to solve a bond coupon rate or coupon payment. For example, we have a semi annual bond with 80 year maturity selling for 900. The bond yield is 9%. So, how much is the coupon rate? As you see, there's um, no calculator indicator for coupon rate. We only have a coupon payment, but it's not a coupon rate. So to do this, we have to solve coupon rate payment first, then divide by a thousand to the coupon rate. So for this semi-annual bond, let's try that. We have a maturity of 80 years, so double, we got 16 coupon payment. The yield 9%, we divide by 2, got 4.5. The print value is PV is, sorry, 900 and future value a thousand notice we still have sign convention then compute for payment we got a payment coupon payment of 36 dollars because it's a semi-annual bond so we have to double to get the annual coupon payment then divide by a thousand convert to coupon do you want to give yourself a chance to practice now we're going to take a break from the calculation bond price and the yield and want to talk about a bit more about the bond features and types. Bond in them too is a written contract between the issuing company and the investors. They go over all these basic terms of the bond and um, whether it provides sinking fund or if it's Available or convertible and the details on protective covenants. A lot of bonds are secured with either financial security or real property. We heard of a mortgage which is secured by real property while financial secu security sec secured bond is called collateral. Unsecured bond is the benches. Note refer to the debenture was less than 10 years mature. Seniority is also important. Senior bondholders get a cash flow first, while junior bondholders or subordinated bondholders, they will get cash flow later. Sinking fund is a fund managed by bond trustees uh, specifically for the coupon payment and the principal repayment. Some bonds are callable and be able to call back at a specific price at a certain time. Protective covenants limit certain action by the company. Could be, for example, limitation on cash dividend payment or merge acquisition and selling assets or issue additional junior bond. And it could also be a positive covenant in terms of make, make, maintaining working capital and uh, do the financial statement to lenders and maintain collateral or security in good conditions. Have you heard about bond ratings? Have you heard of the rating agencies Standard Poor and Moody's? These two rating agencies provide bond ratings. Uh, there are two big categories, investment quality and lower quality or specu speculative quality. So triple B or BAA above um, investment quality, which basically safe, low risk, low return, while the low quality or speculative quality, double B or BA below, implies a higher default risk. 
So investor are willing to buy this uh, junk bond or quality bond in return for high yield. This table shows you the bond rating versus yield spread compared to Treasury, US Treasury yield for five year maturity. Look at the triple B bond. This is a 107 base point higher than the treasury, treasury rate, while the triple A is only 18 basis point higher than the treasury yield. There are different type of bond, government bond or municipal bond. The bond treasures issued by the government, state or federal, has no default risk, risk and are tax exempt at state level, while municipal bond or units have some default risk and issued by local government and uh, state, they are ex tax exempt at the federal level. Floating rate bonds, the coupon rate are adjusted to accommodate the inflation risk. For example, TIPS, Treasury Inflation Protective Secu Securities, where the, the coupon rate adjusts for annual interest, adjusts for in inflation rate. There's a lot more new innovation in the bond market, like income bond, based on the company's income. Bond can be also converted, converted back to stock, or bond can be put or be sold back to companies. Reverse, reverse convertible allow companies to have the choice pay either stock or cash in the end. Um, the park Islamic bond actually is um, an ownership on a piece of asset which is financed by the bond. Bond can also uh, group into three types, zero coupon, interest only, or amortized bond. Then depends on whether the issuer pay the coupon payment or pay principal payment. For interest only bond, the issuer only pay interest payment and they pay the total principal in the end. While amortizing bond, interest and part of principal is paid every period. I'm going to uh, ask you to go over the bond price quotes or report. There are two types, treasury bond versus corporate bond. The treasury bond has a traditional reporting scale based on 32 seconds ticket size, not 10 second, not a tens ticket size. And uh, they normally have both bid, uh, bid price and ask price. For investors who want to buy treasures, you will pay ask price. So that is the, how much do you willing to take for that bond. And if you want to sell those treasures, you will pay, you will receive the bid price. Typically, the bid price is lower than ask price. The spread, bid ask spread are commissions for dealers. So how do we convert the quotes to, to the price? So these are percentage, 132% plus last two, two digit. Last two digit we convert to percent by scaling by 32. Total percentage is going to multiply by a thousand. For corporate bond, the reporting is a bit easier. Uh, the close price is bond price. So again, this is the percentage we're going to convert to a thousand. I want you to practice how to figure out the current yield. This is based on annual coupon payment over the bond price. So as the rate is 7.45, so annual coupon payment is 74.5. And the, the based on current price, which is 773.75, the current yield is 9.63. We meant, mentioned there are some floating rate bound to take care of inflation. So inflation is important. Inflation will affect our rate of investment. So the normal, nominal rate, which is not adjust for inflation, while the, the real rate is adjust for inflation. For example, you make a return of a 20% nominal rate and the inflation is 5%. The real rate is approximately 15%.
We use a fish effect, exact format, to convert nominal rate and the real rate. For example, if you require 10% real rate and we expect inflation 8%, use fish effect exact format so the nominal rate 1 plus r equal to 1.1 times 1.08. Right? So this will give us the nominal rate of 18.8%. Use approximate approach is roughly 18%. So lastly, we really want to understand the relation between yield, y, yield maturity, and the maturity. So the chart, the curve between YTM and maturity is referred to as yield curve. Another word is also term structure of interest rate. For a nominal curve, which is upward sloping, the bond with longer maturity, 30 years for example, will have a yield to maturity yield greater than the shorter term bond, for example, 5 year or 3 year. Sometimes we have a, a inverted curve downward sloping. So in that case, the longer term bond has a lower yield than the shorter term bond. Uh, the also have a type of flat curve, which means maturity has no impact on our YT. So what are the major factors driving the yield? And the real rate, of course, matters. Inflation risk, interest rate risk, default risk, how likely the, the issuer may default on the coupon payment, principal repayment or whether these bonds are taxable or not, or like, how liquid are these bonds. So these all will affect the yield curve and yield. So this chapter, we went over understand bond features, bond type, rating quotes, inflation, interest rate, and term structure or yield curve. We also calculate the bond price yield maturity, and a coupon rate. So that's all for this chapter.